Hi, this is Alex from Groovy Entertainment. Today we got another book and record to play. Today book is Charlie Brown R Stars for 1978. So let's get ready. Hi, I'm Charlie Brown. You can read along in your book as you listen to the story. You'll know it's time to turn the page when you hear the chimes ring like this. And now we present Charlie Brown's All-Stars. Well, tomorrow starts another baseball season. I've worked up a few statistics about our baseball team, Charlie Brown. Last year, our opponent scored 3,000 runs to our total of six runs. They made 4,900 hits to our 11 hits. And they made four years to our 375 years. I don't think I'm going to get much sleep tonight. See you tomorrow, Linus. And thanks for the statistics. Charlie Brown, do your team a big favor tomorrow. What's that? Don't show up. I've got five boys, three girls, and a dog who can't run. And every time we lose, they call me a blockhead. They never let me forget the mistakes I make. Never. Why do we have to suffer every year like this? Well, maybe that blockhead Charlie Brown won't show up this time and we'll have a chance. Well, team, here I am. Disaster time. We're doomed. What a team. Good grief. No manager goes through what I do. Big Ten, hasn't the other team showed up? Unfortunately, yes. All right, here we go. If this team is going to beat us, they're really going to have to try. I hate it when they try. What's the score now, manager? We're behind 57 to nothing. Why don't we just sort of slip away or go home and watch TV or something? Rats! Another game lost. I really thought we were going to win this one. For one brief moment, victory was within our grasp. And then the game started. 123 to nothing. Good grief. What a way to lose our first game of the season. I quit. I refuse to play anymore on a team that never wins. Don't quit, Violet. Please. We need you. We need to stick together as a team. After all, it's not the witty that counts. The fun is in the playing. Oh, brother. I'm quitting. It's ridiculous to keep playing on a team that always loses. This team will never amount to anything. I'm sorry, Charlie Brown. I guess I'll quit, too. My whole team is deserting me. Word by word, they've been turning in their caps. I don't know what to do. Charlie Brown! Guess what? Mr. Hennessy down at the hardware store was wondering if you would like to get in the real league. Mr. Hennessy wants to sponsor our team. Real uniforms, real equipment, and everything. That's great. Wait till the team hears about this. That's just the inspiration we need, Vitus. Now nothing will stop us. Maybe we'll win one in a row. Mr. Hennessy? Yes, this is Charlie Brown. What's that? Why, yes, we do have a dog on the team. Girls? Yes, we do have a girl or two on the team. 
But, but, oh, I couldn't do that, Mr. Hennessy. They're my team. I couldn't tell the girls and Snoopy they couldn't be on the team. Oh, you mean the league would accept girls or a dog on a team? Well, I understand, Mr. Hennessy. I know it isn't your fault. Rules are rules. Thanks, anyway. <coughs> Rats. No uniforms. No real league. I'm glad you're here, Linus. Mr. Hennessy just called, and we can't have the uniforms unless we get rid of Snoopy and the girls from our team. He says there's no place for them in an organized league. Oh, brother! We'll never play for you again. I've got it. I won't say a word until after the next game. All we need is win victory, and then forget all about the uniforms. I know we can do it. We can win if we really try. Good old Charlie Brown. He never gives up. something that's going to bring us victory. I've had Linus scout the opposition. Now we'll know their weaknesses. Linus, I watched this team practice, see? They were terrible. Anybody could beat them. None of their players can hit the ball out of the infield. And they have this loudmouth girl in center field who can't catch a thing. They also have some animal at second base who can't even throw. And their pitcher is kind of a round-headed kid who is absolutely no good at all. And... You scouted it, you Charlie Brown, why don't you give up? It's a good thing we're going to get uniforms. Otherwise, we wouldn't even play. All right, all right. Let's start the game. Yay! Look at that. Sherby got a hit. The team is really up for this one. We can't lose. Get. We'd quit right now. 
I told Mr. Hennessy we didn't want his old uniforms. Oh! That's it, Charlie Brown. So long forever. Boy, is Charlie Brown stupid. He lost us the game and gave away our uniforms. Well, if you must know, Charlie Brown was only thinking of your feelings. The only reason Charlie Brown turned Mr. Hennessy down was because he'd have to get rid of Snoopy and you girls. All of you are the most thoughtless bunch I've ever known. You don't care anything about Charlie Brown. He's been loyal to you because he thinks you're his friends. But do you ever act like friends? No. Those uniforms meant as much to Charlie Brown as they did to you. Probably more. I feel terrible. But what can we do? Hey, maybe we can make it up to Charlie Brown by making him a uniform. Yes, that might pick him up, but we don't have any material. Oh, yes, we do. Give me that stupid blanket, Linus. Uh. <laughs> for you. Even though you lost the game, and even though you're the goat, we've made you a uniform. Me? The loser? A uniform? It's beautiful. Tomorrow's game will be different. We'll really show them tomorrow. Where is everybody? We're supposed to have a ball game today. Don't tell me everyone stayed home because of a little rain. A little rain never hurt anybody. I don't suppose it has occurred to you that no one else may show up. Not for a second. Why are you looking at me like that? They made your uniform out of my blanket. So that was Charlie Brown R Stars for 1978. So please like, subscribe, share, and comment, and have a groovy day. We have another video coming out real soon.